Hey there, today I want to talk with you about product launch checking and if this is a method you can use to make money from your website. If you were looking to make money online, you might have come across this technique already and it seems to be a great and profitable way. However, if you are just thinking of starting your affiliate marketing career or you are at the very beginning of it, I can give you only one advice. Run every time someone suggests you this method. But first, let's have a look at what a product launch is anyway. You see, whenever a new product is first released to the marketplace, it is called a product launch. And for a limited amount of time, usually five to seven days, the new product is available at a special price and many affiliates hop on board to promote it. Product launches often go together with an affiliate launch contest where affiliates with the most sales can win a prize. Such an affiliate contest will make participation in the promotion even more attractive. And what then is product launch checking? Now that you know what a product launch is, let us have a look at what launch checking is. In a nutshell, product launch checking is taking advantage of the buzz that is created around a new product. Then the launch checker hijacks as much traffic as possible and redirects it to a review site in order to make affiliate commissions. But let us have a look at the product launch checking method in more detail. There are a few different checking techniques, so let me explain in a basic example how product launch checking usually works. First, you need to find a product that you want to promote. And there are many product launch calendars around where you can find upcoming product launches. Some of the more popular ones are Warrior JV, JV Notify Pro or Munchai. In these product launch calendars, you can find upcoming product launches often already months ahead from different affiliate networks such as Clickbank, Warrior Plus or JVSoo. After you decided for a product, you register a new domain name and typically you want to use the product name as your domain name. If this is not available in any of the top level domains, you can use a suffix such as review or a prefix like buy. For example, you want to promote a product called My Awesome New Product, which is available at myawesomenewproduct.com. So you would try to register either myawesomenewproduct.net or myawesomenewproduct.org. And if none of these are available, you would go for myawesomenewproductreview.com or buymyawesomenewproduct.com or something similar. And once your domain is ordered, you set up your website. In most cases, such websites have only a few posts that can be written fast. Typically, these posts give some info about the product and its features, about the product creator and finally a review of the product itself in another post. Now, as you have some content, you need to create as many backlinks to your website as possible. You can use a software that can do this for you automatically such as GSA Search Engine Ranker, for example. Or, if you don't have such a software, you might want to use some Fiverr gigs to get the job done. Now the question is, does the product launch checking method work? And yes, it does. People make a ton of money from checking product launches, especially when they rank their site within the top three of the Google search results. During the launch phase, they can expect a lot of traffic and because it's pre-qualified traffic from people doing research after they received a product recommendation in their email, it easily converts into sales. But now if this is profitable, why do I recommend to stay away from product launch checking? You see, in several posts I have written about the importance of knowing the product you recommend to your audience. And to know a product, you usually need to buy and test the product yourself before you can write a review or send out email. But it is different when it comes to product launches because you can't purchase the product before it is on the marketplace. Sure, if you have an established relationship to the product creator or you are a well-known affiliate marketer, you might get hold of a review copy long before the product will be launched. Then you can base your review on this review copy. But as a new affiliate marketer, without any relationships and background, 
you won't get a review copy that easily. This means you will need to rely on the statements made on the sales page preview and the JV page only to base your review on. And as a result, the content you create for your product launch checking site won't be an honest review at all. I just don't want to call it a fake review right now. So in the end, there are two losers in this strategy. In the short run, it is the user who purchases a product through the fake recommendation. And in the long run, it is the launch checker himself. Because don't expect people who were tricked once to buy a hyped up product to come back and purchase again through your recommendation. So what can you do instead? There are different strategies that are suitable for everyone, newbies and experienced marketers alike. And these strategies will let you build a long-term relationship with your audience to make sales over and over again.